Hello students, welcome to the channel of Vedan Classes. Okay, so in this lecture, we start with the final exercise that is 14.4. So in question number 1, they asked us to find the less than frequency distribution table and we need to make a graph uh, less than OJ from it. Okay, so let's start to make a less than frequency distribution table. Okay, so let's consider the less than frequency. Okay, so less than, we need to consider the upper limit in the case of less than. So it will be less than 120 then it will be less than 140 then it will be less than 160 then it will be less than 180 and then it will be less than 200 so let's make a cf so for the less than 120 it will be 12 then for the less than 140 you need to consider this 2 so it will be 26 for the less than 160 you need to consider all this three values so it will be 34 for less than 180 you need to consider all so it will be 40 and for the less than 200 it will be 50 so this is your cumulative frequency distribution table it can be asked in two marks now for the graph you can consider you can consider this upper limits in the x-axis and the cumulative frequency in the y-axis okay cumulative frequency in the y-axis and you can make a graph as shown okay now let's switch to the question number two okay so in this question the less than data is given already along with the cf and we need to determine the graph okay so let's make a graph like that. okay so the graph that you will obtain will be there as shown and again we need to verify the value of median using the formula so let's see how we can solve the question okay how we can check the value of median using the formula so first of all we need to make class so the class less than 38 and here the difference is 2 so you can consider the class 36 to 38 or you can directly write less than 38 over here then second class it will be 38 to 40 then it will be 40 to 42 then it will be 42 to 44 then 44 to 46, then 46 to 48, 48 to 50, and 50 to 52. Okay. Now let's find the frequency for the same. Now the frequency for the first one it will be 0. For the second it will be 3. For the third it will be 5 minus 3. So it will be 2. It will be 5 minus 3. For the fourth it will be 4. That will be 9 minus 5. Then it will be 5, that will be 14 minus 9. Then for the 46 to 48, it will be 28 minus 14. So this will be 14. And for to 48 to 50, this will be 4 because it will be 32 minus 28. So this will be 4. Then last, this will be 3 because it will be 35 minus 30. So we got the frequencies like this, okay. Now let's make a table for the CF. CF will be as it is 0, then 3, then 5, then 9, then it will be 14, then 28, then 32, and at last we'll get 35. First of all, we'll determine the value of n by 2, so that will be 35 by 2. So here it will be 17.5, okay. Now the value of 17.5 lies between. 14 to 28 so let's make a box like this okay so apply the formula that is m is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf upon f into h what is the value of l that is 46 so value of n by 2 is 17.5 so value of cf will be 14 value for the frequency is again 14 this will be the value of f and the value of h is 2 in this case so it will be 46 plus and this will be uh, 2 ones are and this will be 7 are. so this will be 3.5 by 7 so this will be 46 plus 0 0.5 so our answer for the median will be 46.5 okay so that matches the value of the graph okay now let's see the question number 3 in question number 3 we need to determine the more than frequency distribution table okay 
So let us make the distribution for the more than frequency distribution. So you need to consider that here more than or equal to 50. You need to consider the lower limit or you need to write the equal to sign. This will be more than or equal to 55, then more than or equal to 60, then more than or equal to 65, then more than or equal to 70, and more than or equal to 75. Let us write the cumulative frequency for this. Then first of all, the sum total for all this it will be 100. Then you need to subtract this 2, then it will be 98. Then you need to subtract the 8, then it will be 90. Then you subtract to 12, then it will be 78. Then it will be 74, uh, 78 minus this will be 24, so it will be 54. Then you need to subtract the value 38, so it will be uh, 16. Okay, so for the final it will be more than 75, so that is 16. Okay, so that we got as a final value. So this is the more than frequency distribution table. Now for the graph, for the graph, you can consider, you can consider the lower limits for the x-axis for the more, more than frequency OJ. So you need to consider the lower limits of the classes and in the x-axis you need to consider the cumulative frequency. So you can get the graph, okay. Okay, let us see how to find the median. Uh, when the less than type and more than type data is given. This is the last topic. Okay, so let us start solving this one. First of all, we need to make a class. Okay, the sum is like the uh, sum number 2 of x is 14.4. Okay, so let us make a class for this. The first class it will be less than 0. So let us consider the initial value is 10. Then we need to consider it as 10 to 30, then 30 to 50, then 50 to 70. Then 70 to 90, then 90 to 110, then 110 to 130, then 130 to 150. So this is our class. Now we need to find the frequency. So how we can find the frequency? Less than 10, there are 0 students. So 0 over here. Less than 30, so there are 10 students. Less than 50, you need to consider both this. Okay. So less than 50, for the less distribution in 30 to 50, you need to subtract 25 and 10. So it will be 15. So 15 students will be there in 30 to 50. Then for the 70 to 50, this will be 43 minus 25. So this will be 18. Then it will be 22. Then again it will be 22. Then it will be 9. And last one it will be 4. Now let us make a CF. See for the less than type, the CF will be same as this one. So it will be 0 and 10 then 25, then 43, then 65, 87, 96, and 100. Okay, let us start the process. First of all, you need to find the n by 2, so that will be 100 by 2, so this will be 50. 50 lies between 43 and 65. So this will be our class. Okay, so note down all the values. L is 70, F is 22, CF will be 43, and value of H will be 20. Okay, so apply the formula m is equal to L plus n by 2 minus Cf upon f into h. So it will be 70 plus n by 2. So that is 50 minus 43 upon 22 into 20. So this will be 70 plus this will be 7 into this will be 10, this will be 11 into 10 by 11. When you will divide the 70 by 11, will get around 6.363. So your answer will be 76.363. So this is how you can find the median for the less than type distribution. Now let's see it for the more than type distribution. Okay, so let's make a class first. So it will be more than 80. So first class it will be 80 to 90, then it will be 90 to 100, then it will be 100, 110, then it will be 110 to 120, then it will be 120 to 130, then it will be 130 to 160, 140, then 140 to 150, and for more than 150, we need to make class 150 to 160. Okay, 
Now let's check the frequencies. Okay. So more than 80, there are 150 students. So more than 90, there are 141 students. So it means that between 80 to 90, there are 150 minus 141. So there are 9 students. Okay. <coughs> so likewise, you can calculate it. So there were, so there are 70 students in 90 to 100. Then it will be 19 students in 100 to 110. Then it will be around 45 students in 110 to 120 then it will be 33 students then it will be 15 students then it will be 12 students and in the last class there will be zero students because there are no more than 150 marks scoring student now let's make a cf now see cf will not be same as this one so you need to consider a new cf so this will be 9 then this will be 26 the next term will be 45 then the next term will be 90 then it will be 123, then it will be 138, then it will be 150, last is also 150. Now let's follow the process that is n by 2 is equal to 150 by 2, so this will be 75. Now 75 lies between 45 to 90. Okay, so let's note down all the values 110, frequency is 45 and the CF is also 45. Okay, the value of h is 10. Now let's apply the formula that is m is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf upon f into h. So value of l is 110, value of n by 2 that is 75 minus 45, value of frequency is also 45, value of h is 10. So this will be 110 plus this subtraction will be 30 into 10 upon 45 okay so this will be 110 plus this will be 300 by 45 so let's cut it to the nines are so it will be 60 by 9 when you will divide 60 by 9 okay we are cancelling this one 3 and 10 so it will be 20 by 3 so it will be easy to calculate 20 by 3 so it will be 6.66 right so our answer will be 116.67 okay 66 or 6 and you can write okay so that's the full point for the statistics if you are having any doubts then mention your doubts in the comment section so keep working hard enjoy the mathematics and we'll start with a new chapter in the next lecture till then like subscribe and share if you are really finding it helpful okay thanks a lot